London's International Motor Show this year is the biggest and best on record. In this mecca of motoring is the choicest type of car from Europe and America. Small cars are a major feature and ever more popular with the motoring public. Rolls-Royce once again... 1960 was an important year for Britain's motorists and not just because of the new models on show. It was the year that vehicle test regulations were introduced by the then Ministry of Transport and so became more commonly known as the MOT test. Since then, the test has become more comprehensive and is now the cornerstone of vehicle safety in this country. Today, approximately 25 million vehicles have an MOT test every year. These cars, motorbikes, vans and minibuses pass through a network of around 19,000 privately owned test stations, which are overseen by the government agency VOSA, the Vehicle and Operator Services Agency. To become a test station, these garages must meet specified criteria, which include the layout of the test bay, the equipment used and the facilities provided. Once up and running, test stations are regularly assessed by VOSA to ensure that they continue to meet high standards. All MOT testers must comply with demanding requirements and must successfully complete VOSA's practical training program. Once testing, their continued competence is monitored by VOSA on a regular basis. When you arrive at the test station, it's helpful to bring your last test certificate and registration documents. And if the vehicle has one, the fuel cap key. If your vehicle is diesel powered, you'll be asked about its service history to ensure that it's suitable for testing. Prior to starting the test proper, the tester may carry out a series of pre-checks to ensure that your vehicle is suitable to test. Once satisfied, the tester starts in the driver's or rider's seat where he checks the controls, the switches and the warning lights. In the car, he also checks the driver's view of the road. At the front of the vehicle, the tester inspects the lights and the bodywork. Under the bonnet, he checks the chassis number and he inspects the brake system and the fuel system, as well as the steering, the suspension and the vehicle structure. For cars, he checks bonnet security and the number plate. Down the offside of the vehicle, the tester checks the shock absorbers, the wipers, the mirrors, the doors, the seat belts, the seats, the bodywork, the wheels and tyres, and depending on which side it's fitted, the fuel cap. On the bike, he inspects the wheels, the tyres, the brakes, the drive system, suspension, frame and exhaust. At the rear of the vehicle, the tester checks the lights, the bodywork and the number plate. Inside the boot, he checks any seatbelt components and inspects the vehicle structure. The tester then repeats the same routine along the near side as he did along the off side. Under the vehicle, checks are carried out on the brake system and the fuel system, the exhaust, the steering, the suspension and the vehicle structure. The vehicle is then jacked to carry out further checks on wheels, tyres, brakes, steering and suspension. Finally, the wheel bearings are inspected. Special equipment is used to check the headlamps for correct aim. The brake efficiency is tested using a variety of equipment, depending on the type the test station has fitted. However, certain vehicles, like four-wheel drives, may need to be driven on the road using a portable brake tester. All the equipment used in the test is approved by VOSA and has to be regularly certified as accurate and functioning properly. The MOT test also plays a part in protecting our environment. Petrol, gas and diesel engine emissions are measured on specialised equipment. Motorcycle emissions are not part of the test. The MOT test is a minimum standard of roadworthiness and a pass or fail reflects the status of the components at the time the vehicle is tested. There's no stripping or dismantling carried out and it's a non-destructive test. If you're not happy with the result of your test, or have any questions, you should talk to your test station or contact the MOT Inquiry Unit 
on 0845 600 5977. The contact details are shown on the test station notice board. The MOT test plays a vital role in maintaining and improving road safety. It contributes significantly to the Department for Transport's overall objective to reduce road deaths and casualties. However, it is only part of a vehicle's proper maintenance system. It doesn't replace it. Ever since testing began in 1960, the MOT test has been moving and adapting in line with technology. It will continue to do so in order to protect our environment and sustain and improve road safety. After all, the more vehicles that pass their annual MOT test and which are properly maintained, the safer the nation's roads.